We got up smashes from the bros. We got up B and up air from Ness and the Meta Knight. Yep. All right, and we begin. So Fon's getting good charge just so that he can get Meta Knight and Ness if they recover poorly. And right now, blue team with better positioning. They got them sandwiched in between each other. All right. Yeah, just right now it looks like uh, Nuh -uh just wow. looking for an answer here. And, and he's not going to get it, but uh, Ray's going to lose his stock too on that trade. Yeah, and that was really good on OGC because uh, Ray already got the Gimp on Ness, and OGC just made sure that they got a trade instead of an overall loss in that scenario. So mm -hmm. OGC going off and nearing and being able to recover, he almost probably could have saved his partner. But, but now Fawn's with a definite advantage in terms of percentage and stocks. Yeah. Only a matter of time at 133. Oh, he wow. He can double jump Nair oh. twice up there? I, I think didn't think that. Oh. Honestly, Fonz has really developed a lot of... He's, him and Zinyu have really been working a lot with Dare. Just how it kills, how much it covers, going beating air dodges, most air dodges. It's just a very strong move that's oh, maybe a bit underrated by Marius in general. And, wow, Anoha is getting... Kind of just, body yeah. Game. I mean, I don't know, just based off of what I saw during earlier in bracket on winner's side, it looks like Ray and Fonz have just completely adapted to the playstyle of Nuh uh. Mm -hmm. And maybe maybe it's partly they're not ever really getting us in any sandwiches or any optimal stage positioning. Uh, Ray is keeping center stage and yeah. always knocking him into Fonz, letting Fonz get a bunch of edge guards. It just Look seems at... like Noah right now is just on an island by himself trying to figure out what he can do. They're, yeah, they're wondering how does. Oh, great save! Oh, oh, oh no. no! Wow, up they're... there from Noah takes out his teammate, and now a heavy disadvantage for Noah and OGC here in game one. Yeah, this is this is looking rough unless unless we get two great. Two back throws, back to back, followed by either one back throw, even followed by a good team combo. But there goes the possibility of a team combo. Oh yeah. So. So now I'm gonna, uh, excuse me, OGC just gonna try to do his best here. Try and hold on to the stock as long as he can. Yeah, and I don't think Ray and Fonz are gonna fall for a collateral from another up, from an upbeat or up throw. Sorry, that it has tons of collateral and kill. Kill at least the person who's getting hit by the downward swing of the up to be right. a throw. Wow. Yeah, you can drop punishes like that. They've got time. See, yep. Fonz couldn't run up an up smash, but okay, he just wanted to cape. They've got they've got tons of socks to work with, so. Oh, and the up smash will end it. So five game stocked. one convincingly goes towards Ray and Fonz. Five stock. Five stocks. And the one stock, the early gimp on the trade. So, Noah and OGC both have other characters. They can throw out right. doubles. I, this is about the time when you get dominated that hard. Yeah, you, you either, at least have to contemplate. You either know what stage will work, or you think about switching characters. Yeah. So it looks like they're going to try to... I wouldn't recommend going back. Yeah. Smashville. So okay. we're going to head to Smashville instead. But uh, definitely, if we have a result like the last one, you've got to think that the nest just isn't working for Nah. Yeah. And what's really not working is that Ness is really good at setting up a zone with uh, a lot of short hop fares. Even PK Fire, especially in doubles, works out a lot easy, better than singles. Um, but OGC, that's, a, that's another factor. OGC is not getting in. Um, we don't see a lot as, as much any dash attacks as we'd see in maybe singles. He's controlling the zone right now really well. Here's a scary scenario with this team. Oh, yeah. Right on the edge, Ness at the ledge, prepared to back throw. But, oh, good, good up throw by Meta Knight. They always go for the collateral, and I think teams are stopped falling for it. Rayfons really haven't had to control this game, have they? Like, I just mean stage control, -ish, like they had last game. Ooh. Uh, not like, in the same... Oh, just throws out a forward smash, taking the stop from his partner. But no, oh, they... Oh, that boy. That hard recovery. Yeah. But no, uh, Ray and Fonz, not in the same regard as last game do they have the same stage control. Mm -hmm. 
they still have maintained quite a bit of it, but it's not nearly as dominant as before. Yeah. And we're seeing that a bit in the stock play because they might be able, they're probably going to be able to take race stock. And right now, they're not getting the gimps on Ness. They're not getting great, hugely off stage like they did before. And they're not, and there's no trading of stocks happening really. They're, it's a really slow paced double set right, right. now. And there's the back throw to take Ray's first stock. Yeah. Yeah, I felt like non OGC have definitely been had the better better stage positioning being centered here. They're playing even slower than what than last game, just spacing out more versus hey, I'm gonna throw a bunch of hitboxes above you and see if you get baited into my partner. Right. Okay. And I believe, was that the back air from yeah. No, no, that takes another stock off of his partner. The backwards, uh, it's kind of like Falcon's Knee, except backwards and a yeah. lot better by so much. But Ray Fonz, Fonz is in position on the ledge. Oh, Ooh. he's been going for those a lot more, especially the air dodge reads or double jump reads with Bear. Versus uh, Raw, I'm just going to yeah. do it right away. He's kind of waiting for the response, and Fonz gets so spiked. now, not on OGC, both on their last stocks yet again. Despite doing better, too. Right. Oh, Naha wanted a grab, grab F throw. Yeah, he, I think OGZ didn't throw right away for the collateral for on his up throw. Back throw changes yeah, back things throw. around a bit. Yep. Well, OGZ definitely at a high damage percent here. He's going to have to hold on to the stock as long as he can, just so they can even this game out. Ray's going to have to lose his second stock, too, yet. The thing with that, and OGC was right about the position for it, is up throw, up B from Meta Knight, from Ness and Meta Knight, but he loses his stock, and now we're getting another 2v1 scenario. How are they going to finish this off? Because they're doing better. They're not getting yep. 5 stock, but <laughs> this is super hard against the bros who have right. great team combos building to build up percent, and Ray has a sure you can. If he get if Fonz ever gets a grab, it's over. Jab reset and Fonz capes or er, shoots flood instead. All right, yep. so there we Dare. go. So two zero early on. This is great adjustment. No, it just doesn't seem to have an answer right now. Uh, last game, just on an island, not knowing what to do. This game, he took two of his uh, teammate stocks. They're definitely going to have to figure something out here if they're going to hope to turn this around. I kind of want to see OGC in position to help Naha more. Because mm -hmm. I really think the bros are kind of double teaming him. And I want to see OGC break those up more. Even if he hits his partner, you don't want the bros to get those combos on you, get their percent, get their position. Right. Because they're just going to blow you away, quite literally, with a way of water. <laughs> and take position and end your stock. I'm here in cloud. Fonz does have a cloud. Everyone's got a cloud. Just always have to remember that. Everyone's got one. You just got to dig in your pocket enough. Dig real deep. Find your swords. Find your limits. Then break them. Yep. All right. They're thinking. Yeah, they're talking. So, what do you want to what do you want to see in game 3? Where do you, what stage do you want to go to? What do you want to see? I really want to see just more synergy between OGC and Na. The ones that we're usually used to in more constructs, it doesn't seem like they, like I said before, have an answer for either Ray or Fonz at this point. Mm -hmm. I can't really think of a stage where they're going to have a definite advantage okay. if... Uh, yeah, I don't see a stage where they have a definite advantage if uh, Na is on S. Yep. But it looks like we're going to get a control switch. Oh, he, that means he's probably going Pikachu. Right. So we're going to get the usual team combo from Nuh-uh and OGC this time around. Yep. And now, you got to think that it's going to open up a few more possibilities. Wait, but man. if Ray and Fonz already have this dialed in, we might see a quick 3-0 and a handshake. Yeah. Let's see what he's going for. They must have picked stage. Captain Falcon, right, not Pikachu. That's right. another one of the staple teams. Right. But the problem is Luigi and Luigi and Mario 
have such great tools for gimping for Captain Falcon. At uh, Midwest Mayhem, we even saw like Starbase Fruit gimp do uh, down B gimp, Cyclone gimp on Falcon twice in a row, like yeah. within seconds. Like he spawned, ran off stage to try to go after Luigi, got Cyclone gimped again. Yep. It just happens. It happens in that matchup. So and Ray's proficient in the Cyclone gimp. So I want to see how they work yep. around their spacing now. So running it back to Smashville here. Yeah. That's the, yep. I think that's smart because the platform can help with Smash, uh, Captain Falcon's recovery. This time around, definitely feels like early on, now and OGC having a lot more stage control this time around. They're playing faster and throwing out more hitboxes. I'm, they're, I'm seeing Naha actually like back air just to throw out a hitbox, dare, even just landing up airs to help. Oh, oh the collateral oh. gets the kills. That kills so early and has so much knockback. Now, so already one stock down on Fonz. I think this is the first stock lead. The f stock yeah, it has lead to be the had. first stock lead that they've had in this set. Oh, okay. I thought Luigi would have died there because of that nair. But a full charge F smash. Not full charge. At least partial charge F smash takes yeah. race stock. Now, I think they've. I think Ray and Fonz okay. have been a little just a little um, thrown off by the new pick. They're spacing, they're spacing like they did before in the last game, mm -hmm. but they have to change up how they fight against Captain Falcon here. They have to throw right. a bit more hitboxes, jab a little bit more, just to stop grabs. Perhaps. By all means, even though they're throwing out more hitboxes, playing a little bit faster, you're still just as patient as ever as we see from this team. Yeah. You know, patience really patience is real key in doubles, especially when you're if your partner's in trouble, you right. have to know when to approach and when not to. Yep. But the up smash from Ray is gonna take not us for a stock. Yeah. OGC OGC is still holding on to this. That's that's about standard. OGC usually takes stocks while Naha goes in and just kind of tries his best to beat beat someone out. I think that's how their team dynamic works. Oh Ooh, the footstool. <laughs> that's good. <laughs> Footstool canceled all the knockback from that fair from that F smash and saves him. There goes Rit Fonz's stock to Meta Knight. We know both, and we know that a lot of a lot of brothers do not like Meta Knight. Oh yeah. More so in singles than doubles, but at the same time, he still does has great trump, great up B combos, dash jack, dash grab are very hard to deal with. Up smash from Fonz wasn't quite enough to take it, and another one. Will also not take it, but, but the back, back air here. will take OGC's first stop. So right now, for the first time in this set, definitely feels like there's a clear advantage for an OGC. Mm -hmm. And I think I'm seeing Fonz and Ray adjust a little bit more. They're jumping more, charging flood, actually go going after the Falcon and Smashville. Again, that's counter pick works well. He was able to recover on the platform because of it, and. Ooh, misses it. And up smash will take the second stock off of OGC. So, ah, uh, nuh -uh, excuse me. If, oh, so, because of the platform, I think OGC could have up Because he had the movement. Oh, oh. no. But, uh, but nuh loses his stock. He gets skimped by Fonz. So, it's a, so right now, the game, the lead is in blue team's favor. Just like that, this whole thing turns around. Oh, there goes Forward OGC. Smash. Oh, there goes OGC. There's the 2v1 again. At least this time, there aren't multiple stocks on each player. So, Naha has a chance to come back here. Right. Wonder how safe he's going to play. Oh, we're getting a Keem combo. Oh, oh that up tilt hits behind? <laughs> oh, my God. Honestly, I thought they were two Marios for a second, so the other Nair would have yeah. hit him towards him. That's it. Oh, yep, that should be it. And a quick 3-0 from Fonz and uh Looks like the names are messed up here. Fonz and Ray yep. take it really quick here. 3-0. And you know the best part about this is? What's uh, that? 